Ah! The problem is caused by this bearing which has, uh, has worn out and seized. And you can also see that it's canted over at a strange angle, so we need to sort that out. It's been making some bad clicking noises for, well, actually a couple of months uh, now. But it has, uh, the bearing has finally failed, so we need to get in there and uh, change that guy out. So how are we going to get to this bearing to remove it? On this particular 3D printer, which is a Marlan M150, here, there's a little cutout that will enable us to get to the, uh, the, the bolt that's holding that bearing on if we return the axes to their home position. So in our menu here, we go into the Prepare and Auto Home. Now we can see the head of the screw that's holding that on. Now this is well and truly seized, I can't even turn that by hand really, so no wonder the uh, the stepper motor was, uh, was stalling there and making that awful racket. So let's get this guy off. So must remember there's a little spring washer on that side. And if you can hear that, there goes the uh, the bells for mass at the at the local church. That is literally falling apart. There, we we'll, might take a look at that under the microscope. The replacement bearing, um, you'll notice, doesn't have doesn't have the teeth on it. I didn't really see any point in having the teeth on on here. It's not driving. It's only just holding that in place. So I guess the important thing is to make sure that we don't twist the belt around. So to stop this coming undone, I'm just going to put a little drop of thread locker on there. I'm not going to over tighten that. So that is running nice and freely now. To reattach the bearing you have really no choice but to take the side panel off and that's just four screws at the top and the bottom and two on the side and now we can see the screw that's uh, going to be holding that in so making sure we have no twist in the in the belt there and that it's going to move we can now off, offer it up inside A bit tensioning these uh, don't think is a particularly exact science so we can leave that as it is there now so as a test let's uh, go back and print something so we'll come back at the end of the print and uh, check that the, the bearing isn't canted over and uh, do a quick autopsy on the seized bearing. The print has completed successfully and uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, let's uh, move the camera around a little. As you can see the, the bearing is, is straight and the, the belts are not twisted anymore so that's uh, definitely a result. Let's take a closer look under the microscope at the failed bearing and as we saw this part here just as uh, I'm not sure if it's broken off or just fallen off looks like it may have actually broken and uh, inside there uh, one lone ball bearing so clearly uh, that has uh, fallen out of the of the race inside and uh, jam the thing solid. Um, the other thing being that um, this is threaded as we can see so once the 
the race. In fact, you can see uh, focus. You can see the what a mess it is inside there. All the all the little bearings have uh, come out of their race, and uh, the thing is completely shot. Let's hope the replacement lasts longer than than this guy. Although I I do use my printer on an almost daily basis, and it's now uh, at least four years old. So it's, this little bearing has done, done quite well.